Pickwick, Tennessee River again. Um, interesting. Practice has been so-so. We've had a lot of weather, as most of you probably know, coming into this tournament, the last day and a half of practice. Yesterday was the last day of practice. Today is the first day. Man, I don't know what to expect. I mean, I caught a few fish. I got in the crowds, got around the grass. And there's kind of two, a couple of different deals going on, at least there was at the beginning of practice. You know, the water temperature is in the mid to upper 50s, depending on where you're at. Water color, it has been good, but like I said, the lakes jumped about three feet over over a 24-hour period, and it's continuing to rise. Got a lot of wind today. We had a lot of weather last night. I don't know what to expect going into today. I am just going to go fishing and, and, and let it unfold as it comes. And sometimes those are my best tournaments. Sometimes they're not, but at this time, I really don't have any choice. I mean, I went out yesterday for a few hours in between the storms, and golly man I, I don't know it, it's just i did it mostly just to to check a few areas to see what the water had done to it if it gotten muddy if it blown out um i didn't run all over so i just checked a couple of primary areas that i plan on putting some time in that i know there's a bunch of fish but getting into bites a whole different animal so we're gonna get out there and grind on it and just let it play out how it will be so fingers crossed we're going fishing today Just want to give you the old uh, quick update here day one finally took place and uh, obviously we were in much con uh, different conditions than any practice we went through and uh, the water had jumped six seven feet probably um, and it's starting to recede finally obviously a lot of things were blown out uh, my patterns that I had developed did not work yesterday I did uh, I did just about everything that I did in practice plus some stuff. The current, I guess, was just too strong. They were pulling about 180 yesterday, 180,000, and that didn't that just did not work for my main river fish of how I was fishing them. Now, I know some guys caught them out there. That's something that I'm not used to is that much current. But all things aside, um, you know, I fished, I, I ran a lot of stuff yesterday just going back and looking at what I had fished in practice to see what it looked like, see how muddy it was. Um, some of it unfortunately was in creek so you know it's uh it's one of those deals where i'm going to have to adjust again today i i caught one fish yesterday and i didn't even have very many bites so obviously i know i'm doing something that i need to adjust with uh i did i i flipped a lot yesterday i fished in water i fished in new water and by that i mean the new water that that was added i don't think that was my i don't think that was a good a good thing unless it was in a special special place condition with currents and eddies and everything so that's what i'm banking on today so i'm going to go back out i'm going to fish a little bit deeper today um, the water's clearing up a little bit which is a good thing after the after the first day which is going to make my confidence be higher in a little bit clearer water fishing a little bit deeper you know in practice i was catching them five to six foot so you add six foot onto that that means i need to be in that 10 to 12 foot range today and i'm going to really try to concentrate on that six to ten is where i feel like i need 
I need to be um, for the fish that I was catching we'll try to find them back again so today is going to be a lot of uh, I'm gonna crank today. I'm gonna I'm gonna try some wobble head today, and I'm still gonna flip some. And um, I've got a lot of current breaks, eddies, and undercut banks, and things of that nature that I flipped um, in practice that worked. If they back that current off a little bit, which I'm gonna check here in just a little bit, we'll get we'll see what happens. So day two, here we go.
week is a wrap. Uh, as you know, just to recap the deal, first of all, day two worked out really well. My plan going into day two was to do absolutely nothing that I did on day one, and it was hard. I had to get off the bank. I had to fish structure spots and current. Now, I had to discipline myself to do that. As you'll see, um, I was successful once I finally put my, my finger on what was happening. And I just basically said, look, I'm gonna return to an area that I know there's a lot of fish. Now I had some help. The water cleared up just a little bit and I had to make a few adjustments. Um, I caught my biggest fish, uh, you know, flipping a D-bomb, but I wasn't flipping it in the normal sense like I had done the first day. What happened was I moved off the bank and that, that fish was in about four and a half to five foot of water on a piece of structure that was breaking the current and that kind of keyed me into the whole thing. And then I changed up and I started fishing a wobble head. Now, the wobble head bite it was one I was just looking for anything, any current breaks, any hard spots, shell beds, but I was in an area that I knew uh, from practice, from original practice where the water was at a normal level that those fish were using. And I just made it up into my mind that I wasn't going to blow it off. Most of the field did. And uh, that I was just going to work really hard on relocating those fish and it just worked out to my benefit. So, you know, looking back on the entire event, day day one i was a little bit spun out i didn't know what to expect i'd never been in conditions with that with the high water and that such a heavy flow i'm not necessarily um dialed into a current eddy situation although you know it's it's the typical deal um but it required some adjustments and um, the power fisherman side of me drew me to the shore cover that was now in the water. Even though I stayed around areas that I'd caught fish off the bank, I just kept moving up shallower and shallower. And got thrown a little bit of a curveball on day one. The you know one of the first places I stopped, I, I caught a three pounder up in about two foot of water, and that threw me the curveball. And then it was, oh, it's terrible from that point on. So with all that being said. You know, day two worked out much better, as you'll see with the video that I've got going on and uh, the footage from day two. So, um, moral of the story, don't be hard-headed. When it isn't working, change it.